Hey everyone. I decided to do this video because I I don't understand. Well, I do understand, but Nickelodeon was a cool, wonderful network. I gotta say, from 1977 to 2007, 2000, after 2007, yeah. After the president of Nickelodeon, after she uh, left, it didn't it was it Brian Robbins I respect you you know you you were in head of the class which I love you did great work with you know a lot of people don't like it I liked Good Burger I loved Ready to Rumble I loved Hardball Brian, you produced Smallville. You produced One Tree Hill. Two, in my opinion, wonderful shows. Where is this Brian Robbins? Where is that Brian Robbins? You're producing and letting other people produce shit after shit after shit. When is everyone thinking this shit that is, in my opinion, because I loved, all right, here we go. We get 77. We get all those stuff. We get pinwheel. We get, you know, um, can't do that on television. And then the 80s, double dare. 90s, you see, I'm counting down. Clarissa, Clar Clarissa explains it all. Um, my brother and me, Keenan and Kel, all that, uh, 99, uh, Amanda show, uh, my cousin, my cousin Skeeter, and then, you know, so on, so forth, Rugrats, Doug, you know, from the early, you know, early Doug, um, I'm naming and naming and naming Rocket Power, as told by Ginger, my personal favorite. Um, Brothers Garcia, Romeo. You know, yeah, all of these. All of, In my opinion, Alan Strange, you have a lot of these really good, uh, great shows with wonderful ideas, wonderful stories. Um, I can even go... I can even go on with, um, I loved Drake and Josh. I loved Zoe 101. I loved Unfabulous. Ned's Declassified. All ended on 2007. And where do we get 2007? iCarly. And I, in my opinion, with one exceptional episode, which I'll get to one day, um, which is uh, I Speed Date. I like that one. Because... They add, who, the director of that episode is Walter, is the dad from Drake and Josh. That guy knew what he was doing because they are playing real people in that episode. With the exception of Spencer. Like, they're playing, like... And a lot of people are going, well, I Carly, that new one, I watched it. It's... They're just trying to be... It's kind of weird to get more vulgar, and it's like, I love those guys. Like, I like Miranda Cosgrove. Um, you know, I like Jerry Trainer. You know, but I, Nathan Kress, I like. I like them all as people, though. Like, Miranda Cosgrove was great um, in School of Rock and Drake and Josh, but, like, uh... Victorious was shit. I'm sorry. I hated freaking Victorious. Sammy Cat, shit. Everything ended 2007 and so forth because, like, you know, Victorious started 2010 and 
you know, and so on and so forth. Henry Danger. Uh, now you got this. Now Ryan, that Ryan's toy reviews got a got a show, and uh, this show called Tay Tay and me, a girl named Tay Tay, and you got people like Tyler Perry producing stuff, and it's not good. Um, an exception in my opinion. Um, I did like I do like the Loud House, but that can come and go really easily, and. It's just so sad because the satisfying thing is watching in the early 2000s, the Nick, um, you know, uh, the Nick Summer, you know, Nick Summer, and like seeing all the really cool commercials and you know, like, having fun with your family. This was one of the, because I've said that my dad was really weird with us putting on a lot of stuff because um no he didn't like a lot of uh he was keen on stuff if it was with the exception of fox he loved fox you know he loved like um at that time <laughs> simpsons married with children um you know he would watch he would watch the swan with us because it was fox um I remember a lot of times that better be on Fox when, when I got home because um, he was always working. So when we get home, we we're like, this guy's been working his ass off. So let's put on it, this, this network. And that's what we would watch. You know, X-Files, Dark Angel, Firefly. We would watch that with him. He didn't care if it was just Fox. Um, but an exception is he loved, or Fox Family, because Fox, Fox Family. He, he um, loved Nickelodeon. Until, again, 2007. And then you get kids pick president. Um, two out of the nine uh, administra like presidents were Republican. And um, the rest were Democrat. A lot, so a lot of times we were always like, they do that on purpose? They? No, they're just children. So we always didn't know if it was like something weird or something. But... Um, you know, I clearly, I can't stand his wife, but I, I hold a deep respect to Bill. You know, uh, the whole impeach thing is really interesting, but Bill seems like a cool guy, Bill Clinton. Um, that's why I never put him on, like, a worst list or a best list. I just think he's a cool guy. Uh, just, like, president he was fine with, like, how he, he reacted to the Combine and stuff. Um not other president, uh, with the exception of, a few, of, of, you know, I'm not going to like count them all, but, um, he was, a, he's a pretty, uh, you know, cool guy, not, not a best president, but, um, so I should respect to that. Um, and the other thing with, with like Harris and 46 and I don't know, it's just weird. Um, how you see them over and over and over again on this on this network and and again with like the, the, the whole that's when I stop that's when I really stop and thank God the only TV is over here that we got cable with and um this uh and I hold respect to, the, to these people as well but like you had um a some late like I, I don't know who, who this person was, but telling children it's okay to be non-binary, uh, that was weird. This is Nickelodeon, folks. This is Nickelodeon. And you get people all the way like from TikTok. I think Brent Rivera was on there. Um, young Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> um, did Piper... A lot of the like people from like your your young vibe squad or you know like your young youtubers and young tiktokers aka annoying children um they go on here and they they are so annoying they get like because i have nieces and nephews um they do these really annoying like life hacks and they're just they just make a mess and it's really stupid it, it's just making stupidity 
I miss watching Nickelodeon because um somebody Joseph Sabor, which is an awesome guy, Sabor Sabor, he does these like recordings and commercial breaks um for I was watching The Haunting of Nick. I was crying. I was really crying. Somebody just uploaded the uh full on full commercial break for uh the um Mockingbird Lane, not Mockingbird Lane. The one that a lot of the one that um Melissa Joan Hart uh hosted Yeah, I was watching, you know, not Mockingbird Lane, but a lot of people have been... I even talked about it um, a few times on here, and um, she she hosted it, and that was really cool. But, um, yeah, I, I'm so... It's like... Take me back! <laughs> but that will never happen only commercials and tapes but that's my that's my own thoughts is this Nickelodeon should just die oh yeah it, it's already died dead it died like 15 years ago I forgot 